Hi there. In today's video, I want to show you the first app I've written uh, in Kotlin, which is uh, for Android. So I'll just show you this app. You know, it's an app you'd use when you want to split the bill. So I'll just show you uh, how the application works. Then I'll go through the background of the coding just to show you how it all comes to play, okay? So let's pretend that the bill is $100. The taxes are 10%. Let's say there's a $10 tip. And let's say there's four people. Okay, so what? let's do the calculation. So $100 plus 10%, that's $110. Plus 10, that's 120, divided by four should be $30. So if I've done this right, this should be $30. Okay, great. So let's reset. Another function is if if any of the fields are blank, it gives you some guidance as to what to do. Okay, so that's the... Let's just... I'll, I'll leave a working example in... Then I'll go through the code. So let's just... Give me one minute. Okay, I'll just keep that going. I'll just keep that display. Okay. All right. So this is the visual layout of the program. So I can either go full code, split, or design mode. I think split is the way to go. So let me just move this. Uh, shift the screen. There you go. Okay, so, so there's my Google Ads. It's not showing because I'm still waiting for the ad to be approved. Like, there's a, I guess it's a verification process or something like that. So, eventually, when the app is loaded on your phone, it will show an ad. But because the ad is um, still being checked, um, it's not showing up. But there is an ad there. I've done it with a test ad. It comes up fine. So, once it's approved, the ad will be showing in the app. Okay? So, the... Oh, I probably shouldn't have shown the unit ID. Let's just forget that. Okay. Okay. So let's focus on each of the fields. See where it says build total? So there's an ID of build total. Okay. This will make sense a bit later on. Let's just scroll down. Then you've got a section for taxes. Then you have a section for the tip. Then you have a section for how many people. Okay, so what's important is the IDs here. Then we have a button. Okay, so remember the button is called calculate. Then there's the total amount per person, which is bill amount per person. Then there is a reset function. Okay, so that's the physical layout. I'm not going to go through everything in a fine detail. I'm just going to provide a broad overview of how the application works, okay? So now this is the coding, okay? So this is some variables you need for the for the Google, for the it's actually AdMob, they basically Google Ads, so I don't need to talk much about that. That's just default code what you need to put in. But what I want to bring focus on is Bill total, taxes, tip, how many people? This, these variables link to these fields, okay? Taxes, tip, how many people? That's why I was referring to the ID just before. This is where they are linked up into the main coding. The, so the calculate function does the calculation. The bill amount per person that comes up here. And this option here that links to the button reset and that links to the button calculate, okay? Now what happens in this app, I'm just gonna reset. I'm gonna try to do everything step by step just so you see how it works. So the calculate button, as soon as it's pressed, it's called, there's a set on click listener. As soon as the button pressed, the following code comes into play. So the build total, the text to, to a string, if it's empty, so, so if the bill total, the taxes, the tips or how many people is empty, 
the toast. So what a toast is, it's a view containing a quick little message for the user. So a message will come up, enter values in all fields, enter zero if not required. So if I leave them all empty, calculate. See, nothing comes through. If I do, let's I fill in three of the fields. Let's do 10% tax, no tip, but five people. If I press calculate, you see it wants a value in all fields. If you want to just leave zero, it will do the calculation, but you just have to leave a zero there, okay? Because if you, you, you don't want to have errors, you want to control your inputs, you want to make sure the program doesn't crash. Uh, also, what I've done for the program is, let's just uh, minimize this screen. Okay, let's pretend someone puts a point in here. Nothing ha nothing happens. L let me just reset this. Better example. Let's do point, 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 point. See, the program doesn't do anything. Because you need to think of the people who are using it. If they put random characters, you don't want it to crash. So let's just, does a comma come up? See, now that's fine. See, that is just to make sure, um, you know, there's no, this will uh, avoid the program crashing because you have to think, yes, you want people to do the calculations, but if they put a random character, it, if you, a random decimal point or a full stop, um, you know, the program can crash. That's why I've put this in here. And also this button click active false. So it only sets to true when there are values in all fields. So if the fields are left blank, or if you just leave a full stop, uh, it's not going to work. So if this isn't true, and if this isn't true, then the calculation can work. Then we set the button click active to true. So everything that you enter in the build total taxes tips to how many people, the text it becomes a string, then becomes a float, so you can do a decimal point if you wanted to. So the build total F. See, I've got build total here. That represents this field. But once a person enters a, a value in the field, and for it to calculate, the, it becomes build total F. So it converts to a string, then to a float. That way, with a floating point number, you can have very specific calculations. So there's a the build total F, it's a float, the taxes to float, the tips to float, how many people to float. Then the final bill is basically just the calculation of getting it, of, you know, finding out exactly who owes what. Okay, let's get back to it. Okay, for the final bill, how this works is, it'll be the bill total. Imagine that separate, that's a $100. Then this section, let's look at this together. Let's assume the taxes is 10, 10% 10, uh, 10 that you put as the tax. 10% divided by 100 is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 times the bill total will be $10. This will, be, this will end up becoming $10. So 100 bill plus a $10, 110. Plus the tips, assume 10. And if you four people, be $30 each, okay? And the bill amount per person, that'll be as a text into two decimal places. So this variable final bill is going to be brought into the bill amount per person with two decimal places. And the reset, when reset is pressed, all the fields here, they are cleared. And the request focus, that brings a blinking cursor back to the build total field. So let's just do that here. Let's do a, a walkthrough of the application. So let's do a different 200, 10. So that'll be 220 so far. Assume $30, this will be 250, then 200, 
Then five people. Five times 50, 250. Great. So if I press reset, look at the blinking cursor. Blink cursor is brought back to the beginning so you can do another calculation. Okay, that's pretty much the program in a nutshell. I can't think of anything else to add. Um, this application has recently been added to the Google Play Store. Uh, I'll put a link to the application um, in the video below. Um, if you like the video, uh, don't forget to like. If you have any comments, just let, just reach out. Um, I'm happy to um, take your feedback on board. If there's any other tutorials you want me to um, put up on the channel, just let me know. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, I think that's it for the video today. Um, have a good one and yeah, I'll upload another video in another week's time. Thank you.